What's going on guys? Uh, Big TRC out here with something totally new today. This is the Vortex uh, by a company called Easy Build RC, and I'll put a link to their site in the description. This is actually the second one of these planes that I've owned. Um, the first one I bought at a swap meet that was already put together. Uh, I flew it for a number of years, and finally um, the airframe is starting to go bad, so I decided I was going to buy another one. So I went to their website and I was able to get the airframe, uh, which consists of uh, all the foam board here, plus uh, your uh, push rods, linkage stoppers, control horns, a uh, little balsa piece for your motor mount. Uh, this right here, some Velcro and everything. You get all that. Uh, I got that for $20, um, which is a great deal. Um, all my electronics and everything I added into it, you're probably looking at like another 30. So I think all together in this, I have $50, not uh, including the paint. Uh, as far as putting it together, I just built this this morning. Um, I have already flown it, full disclosure. Um, I, uh, I'll show you that video after I get done talking and uh, I'll get a few more flights in on it as well. Um, as far as build time goes, you're looking at probably an hour if you're gonna paint stuff. Um, like I have the, the bottom of this painted and, and the, the uh, uh, stabilizers painted. Uh, you're looking at probably two hours because you have to do some pretty light coats. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not ashamed to say, um, but I will admit that this is my first actual build this is the first airplane that I actually built from parts that actually flew. I built a SIG Little Rascal uh, a number of years ago and it never really uh, flew well at all. So, uh, you know, I, I do have like a sense of accomplishment. Now you guys might argue if it's an actual build or not, but listen, it was a bag of parts and I put it all together and made an airplane out of it. So I'm gonna consider it a build. I pretty much put it together with uh, mostly hot glue and some foam tack. Um, you can see it's, you know, pretty simple. It's very flight test X, but uh, I, I really think is, um, you know, a pretty good airplane for what it is. So if you guys want to see it fly around, I'm flying it on a 3S uh, 450 pack. Um, it's got a 15 amp ESC. I forget what size the motor is in it, but I'm flying it in a regular old orange receiver. No gyro on this one, just straight up flying, although I will have some rates and expo in it. You guys want to see this thing fly? Stick around. There she goes. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but... You can tell it screams pretty good. That's on low rates, right? Oh, wait a minute. No, that was on high rates. That was probably some of my issue. I definitely recommend setting up rates on it.
They actually make one. Uh, I think that it's got like a, it's a bigger one. It's got a, like a 30 inch wingspan if you guys are interested in something bigger. And I've also been told that you can actually tip these up on the ground and take off from the ground. Of course, I prefer to hand launch it. Starting to get a little bit windy because there's a storm coming in. But these fly actually really good in the wind. I've flown it in probably 18, 20 mile an hour winds before. Just like that. All right, guys, like I said, I'll put a link in the description. Um, it's something if you're interested in, go and check it out. Other than that, I uh, hope you guys are having a great day. Um, happy flying and God bless you. See you next time.